Hey everybody, Alan Barnowski here with a lesson for Acoustic Guitar Magazine. Today we're looking at the tune Red Haired Boy. Um, this is a very well-known tune that you'll hear at jams and at concerts. It's on a bunch of recordings. Great one to learn. Um, the one we're going to be looking at comes from Jamie Stillway. It's on a recent record she did with Eric Skye. Um, great recording and the way that Jamie plays it is very similar to a the way that a lot of uh, flat pickers approach this tune. So again, great version to learn. Um, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and play through it. And then um, I'll talk about a few things, some things that I think are gonna help make it sound better, make it a little bit easier to play and get through. So uh, to start, I'll just play through it. Here we go. One, two, three. So there you go. Um, first, let's talk about the fretting hand. Um, and let's talk a little bit about uh, fingerings, left hand fingerings. For the most part, what we're going to want to do for this tune is think about having each finger <laughs> um, be responsible for a particular fret. So the tune starts off in the open position, which means open strings and frets one through four. And each finger is going to be responsible for a fret. So the first finger gets the first fret, second finger, second fret, and so forth, third and fourth. Um, so check this out. I'll just play through the beginning of the tune and you'll see what I mean. All right, so we start off and the second finger is handling the second fret. All right, now first finger gets the first fret third finger gets the third fret back to the first okay so you can think about that throughout this tune um later on in in, in the tune the the hand is going to shift up so instead of being in the open position we'll be in what's called third position which means first finger is at the third fret and then second finger is at the fourth fret and so forth um but that's kind of what happens here so check this out All right, so what happens is we use a slide to get up into that position. All right, so we slide from our first finger up to the third fret, first finger to the third fret, but now we're in position. And again, each finger is responsible for its own fret. One thing that you wanna do is getting from, from that note is to bar your first finger. All right, so be, laying that finger down will help ease that transition in that note. All right. So that's kind of the idea with position playing. There's one exception um, in this particular tune. So uh, in the B part, which means the second half of the fiddle tune, if you look at the tab, you'll see there's a repeated A part and a repeated B part. Um, so the B part goes like this. And there's one instance there where you're going to use your pinky finger on the third fret. Okay, so um, this idea of each finger at each fret, it's kind of a general rule of thumb, but you don't need to, you don't do it all the time. Uh, it just works out well uh, to think about things that way. 
For example, if you're playing an A chord, you know, that's three fingers all on the, you know, all at the second fret. So you, you, it's not a rule, but it's, um, it's, a, it's a general guideline that you could think about. Um, another thing about this tune is that you want to think about connectedness, having notes kind of bleed into each other, run into each other. Uh, in general, in flat picking, that's a good approach to have. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a look at the beginning of this tune. All right, so notice that now there are all these no uh, strings, all these notes kind of ringing into each other. All right, and I achieved that a few different ways. One is if there's an open string, let that open string continue to ring. Or if you fret a note, let that fretted note continue to ring and just let those ring out as long as you can. So in the first couple notes, I hit that open string. I'm just gonna let that ring as I go on to the next note. Okay? And by the time I get to the end of that little passage, both of these strings are ringing. I just kind of messed it up there. Here we go. See, now they both ring. And you can do that, you know, as you continue on. I'm gonna let that fretted note continue to ring. So my second finger right here, I'm gonna let that continue to ring out. Notice that second finger is staying down that whole time. continue to ring. So I think you're gonna get the best sound if you think about your left hand that way. Okay, so um, that's it for the left hand, for the fretting hand. The, uh, the thing about the right hand is alternating picking. If you've seen my videos, you've heard me talk about this before. This means downstrokes land on the beats, upstrokes are on the ands or the upbeats. So if you have a continuous eighth note phrase, one and two and three and four and, that's gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we have an example of that in this tune. It goes like this. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, it's in the B part. Here we go. It starts here. All right, that's a long string of eighth notes. Starts with a downstroke, and then we get downs and ups. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up. Okay, so if this is confusing, uh, just go find the tablature. All the pick directions are in there. Um, but the general principle is downstrokes land on the beats, upstrokes are on the ands. So if you have some uh, quarter notes mixed into your eighth notes, like we do in this tune that at the beginning. That means you have two down strokes in a row. Down, up, down, down. All right, again, if it's confusing, just go find the tab. So there you go. That's Red Haired Boy. Uh, great tune. If you have questions, drop them below. Send me an email. You can find my information online. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.